John Dewey by Michelle Shelton The progressive education ideology is the conviction that democracy means active participation by all citizens in social, political, and economic decisions that will affect the lives of the participant. John Dewey, an academic philosopher and proponent of educational reform, once said, Education, therefore, is a process of living and not a preparation for future living. Dewey's statement merely expresses what education is rather than what he believes it should be. Dewey believed that students should be involved in real life tasks and challenges. He also believed that learning was active and schooling unnecessarily long and restrictive. Known as the modern father of experimental education, John Dewey was coined one of the greatest thinkers of the 20th century because of his progressive educational beliefs. Let me give you a little bit of history on John Dewey. John Dewey was born October 20th, 1859, and he had his upbringing in public schools, but it was not until he attended the University of Vermont where he began to mold his educational belief system. It is noted that John Dewey was inspired by the evolutionary theory, lessons in elementary physiology, the theory of natural selection, which encouraged him to focus on the interaction between man and his environment. While considering questions of psychology, and Dewey was also inspired by his teacher philosopher H. A. P. Torrey. In 1879, after graduating from college, Dewey began his two-year teaching career, after which he took a break from teaching in order to pursue a degree in philosophy. He received his doctorate from John Hopkins University and then taught at the University of Michigan for 10 years. In 1894, Dewey became the chairman of the Department of Philosophy, Psychology, and Pedagogy at the University of Chicago. From this point, Dewey's influences helped him to develop and implement his own views on the world of education, and his views were quite pragmatic. He believed that there was a practical approach to problems and affairs. However, the question remains, how did John Dewey become the modern father of experimental education? How does his belief of taking a practical approach to education make him progressive? One of Dewey's many publications, The Child and the Curriculum, published in 1902, analyzes the child in relation to the curriculum. He notes that the child is personal and the curriculum is impersonal. He goes on to note that the child has an ego, while the curriculum subdivides and makes the child docile. Though the school system provides a curriculum, Dewey believes that the child is the curriculum because of the rich experiences he or she already had and have learned by being active participants in life. As noted earlier, Dewey believes that students should be involved in real life tasks and challenges. For instance, to learn math, students might not be motivated by a lecture on proportions and not learn anything about proportions by the end of that lecture. However, that same student might be motivated and truly learn proportions by cooking a meal that utilizes different units of measure. This is what Dewey believes. Dewey was the modern father of experimental education and he was progressive because he believed that the best approach to learning was to actively do the task rather than passively learn it, which to take the latter approach would result in quite passive results. Dewey has a significant impact on the American education system. His theory that education should connect with meaningful experiences contributes to the K through 12 schools, colleges, and universities which buy into the idea of authentic instructional experiences. These schools, Dewey inspired, provide internship, externship, and work-study opportunities, all which provide students with real-world experiences and opportunities to be active learners, and these schools are found all over the country. Thank you for your attention during this short film.